So in the morning, that was Monday morning, we got on the phone and we called the base and said, uh, we are here, what do you want us to do? So they told us, stay there, we are sending a car. Oh. So they sent a Land Rover. <laughs> so me and my friend got on board and um, then this gentleman got on the radio and said, two others have surrendered. Ah, yeah, 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 so yeah. So I yeah. tapped him, I said, what are you talking about? He just ignored me. I found it. Two, I have two more surrendered. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So we're taken to the Air Force base. All the officers had been kept in the officer's mess. We were sleeping on the floor. So we all put down the floor for about two days. Rafta. On Monday, Monday the second, and then on Tuesday, um, Samame Kano came and said, uh, we have to move you. We are taking you into protective custody. Okay, 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 okay. So we said, where? He said, Nyeri. So we thought, oh, okay, all oh, bad. We were military officers, so we thought maybe Outspan Hotel. <laughs> White rhino the then somebody <laughs> asked, where is Nyeri? He said, Kengongo prison. Okay, 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 okay. So we're put in trucks and driven to Kengongo prison. Kengongo maximum prison in Nyeri. What? Where they had cleared a whole wing for just officers. The other ranks which you know, private sergeants were kept at the Air Force base, but officers, I guess they were concerned we might jump on a jet and do something. Mm. So they had cleared one whole wing, uh, and I still remember I was in cell number three with three other gentlemen, and we, were, we sat in prison for three weeks. Mm, 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 mm. What are we doing? Sleep, eat, they let you out to get the sun for 10 minutes, back to your cell. And then we were picked one day after three weeks. No information, nobody knows what's happening. Gina didn't know what's happening, except what you read. Meanwhile, we had some crazy people, um, which I got to learn later. There's a gentleman, a Moi psychophant called Kariuki Chatara. You, you may not know him. Mm. And he was saying, Uayote, tutazao in Guinea. So that's, that was the, that's what they were saying. So we brought back Nanyuki and went through a long vetting process, one by one. Luckily again, when I went for my vetting, the guys on the panel were some senior army officers we were with in Wajia. Mm, 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 so when I walked in, mm, 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 mm. ah, this one, we were with him. Because the, the training. Cook, yeah, I was, I, was, I was with the army on the exercise. So we went through, uh, what did you know? Are you involved? No. Are you willing to work under very strict conditions? I said, yes. So there were like a red group, yellow and green. Red were the ones who happened to be there, the people who flew, the people who may have had something, yellow are in between, mm. and us who are green, no idea. I was not even, I was nowhere near this place. I didn't go to base, I didn't fly. So the green people, now we started going back to work, pole pole. The guy in the red and yellow, the red especially, were taken to prisons. Ah, yeah, yeah, and yeah, they spent yeah. uh, nine months. It was spread between Naivasha, Kamiti, um, I think some place in Mombasa. It was just spread out. So it, 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 it just sat there for nine months. Until one day, they figured these guys had nothing to do with it. So they were just let go, go home with nothing. Not even go back to work? Nothing, no, go home, sent home. Ah, man, that must have been a life. It, it, it changed the, um, now the Air Force, they sent army guys to be the heads of certain places. Like the Nanyuki commander was an army guy. Mm. The Isli was army. 
the overall uh, commander of the Air Force was General Mohammed, mm. later became the Chief of General Staff. He was now sent to run the Air Force. So the, the key people are now put army to keep an eye on these silly Air Force guys who are trying to do a coup. So it kind of changed the dynamics. It was not um, the, the happy place uh, it was, although we settled down. Um, so we continued, we got back to flying. Um, that's, that's, uh, no man, I'm, I apologize for that man, but it sounds, that sounds heavy. Yeah, yeah. Heavy, because one, there's a second. I've never been in a police cell, but I've been to jail. <laughs> Got your stripes, man. <laughs> Never been in a police cell, but I've been go straight to jail. <laughs> do not do not pass go. <laughs> do not pass go. Oh man, I'm glad that you can laugh about it now because that 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 sounded very yeah. very heavy. Yeah. It's life and death, and I can imagine. Yeah, many people died. Many people died. And people especially, in, especially in uh, Nanjuki, not so bad, but um, Nairobi, a lot of people died. University students who kind of rejoiced. Mm. Um, because people started got on the streets, uh, guys stealing, some were shot. So, oh, I'm really sorry. that's that's yeah. insane. And these are people you knew, of course, yeah, even yeah, within. Yeah. I, I knew some. I so, knew some. so did that begin to trigger something in you that I want to leave the air force? Yes, I think then my my mind was made up that uh, um, this is not for the long haul. Mm -hmm. Um, so that was 82. Uh, before that, in 81, I had been sent to India for to become an instructor. It was QFI, Qualified Flying Instructor. So mm. I spent six months in India in 81. <laughs> so by the time the course was happening, I was an instructor on the F5. <laughs> oh, nice. Actually, Gina came to India to spend some time with me when I was doing my, my, my training. Yeah. So you um, went to India before Gina? Sorry? You went to India before Gina? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. He was showing. Now listen, this is this is this here. is India. You know, this <laughs> is what we do. Mm, well, Karibu. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so now you became an instructor for the what? What, what the F five? On the F five, yeah. Whoa, that's that's pretty um, impressive. And India must have been advanced to be where you're being sent for training. Yes, yes. Um, I get they select who they think can impact knowledge. So I was sent for training. Are you the only one who was sent? Yeah, I went to for training the, the, the India one, yeah, mm. to become an, a Malimo. Ah, you you look like you. It sounds. I'm when I'm hearing your story, as much as you use, you're throwing the word luck, it just sounds to me like you excelled. You're constantly. I mean, sometimes without a doubt, I'm, I'm I am hearing the luck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it also sounds when you're being selected for certain positions, it's yeah. that you excelled at this thing that you did. Correct. Did you love it at this time? Are you? I think I did. I, th I think I did. You I did, think, eh? I, I think I did. And yeah. let me ask, mm. was the finance good at that time? Um, it was enough. Mm. You know, your needs are so little. My our Air Force, towards the end, my pay was 7,000 bob. <laughs> but somehow you run a little car, yeah. you, you gas it, you put petrol. Mm. When you get on a slope, you switch off. So it... <laughs> To save on fuel. Yeah. Of course, you don't have a spare tire. Yeah. If you have a puncture, you remove one, you roll it, go get it repaired, come back. You can't afford those. Uh, those are luxuries. <laughs> but at least the car moves. Yeah. Hey, at least you have a car. <laughs> it might be rattling and knocking, but yeah. you know it was okay. It was okay. It was moving. Okay. Are there any other memorable moments that you or significant moments that you want to share within this Air Force period? Did you ever go to battle? We. We, um, so that was 82, I was there until 85. Mm -hmm. After the coup, I'll just share one quick story. Yeah, no that, problem. That, um, yeah, no hurry. was interesting. We've read about it, I'm sure, but I was in the team. We used to escort President Moy when he comes back from overseas. Mm -hmm. So when the airline aircraft comes in. Kenyan's version of Air Force there'll One. There will be two F5s on this wing, on this side, and two on this wing. So one day he was coming from, I think it was Libya, or Africa something, something. So we went to escort him. 
as soon as he enters Kenya airspace. As soon as he enters Kenya airspace, we are directed by radar to to join him. Who escorts him in the different places, or they just? No, no, it's just in Kenya. Okay. So we are four of us, but there were bad rain. So one guy, after takeoff, you know, the weather was so bad he turned. We lost him. So three of us went and joined up with Moy. Um, when the aircraft started to descend, first of all, they, they have not communicated with the airline captain that there will be fighters to... So when we requested, can we join? He says, no. Then after a while, he said, let me check with Kenya's operations. When he checked, he said, yeah, 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 it's official. So he says, okay. So we two on this side of the aircraft for Moy and two on the other one. Mm. Then when the Boeing started to descend, according to bad weather. One of the aircraft, one of the F-5s, uh, broke off and then had a problem. And the pilot ejected. And he, you know, ejected, yeah. came back by a shadow, yes. And he landed someplace in Kinago. Now, he, <laughs> he landed in, a, in a, it's a funny story, but we lost the aircraft, but luckily the man survived. Yeah. Where he landed, there was, a, there was a girl's school nearby and people, they thought it was the Messiah. Because <laughs> you came down from the heavens. <laughs> you just see this guy coming from the heavens with a parachute come. He landed. They started bowing down like <laughs> Jesus has come. This is what we have been waiting for. You know, they are religious people. And, uh, you know, he was dazed. And they were surrounding him, some were bowing. <laughs> he's still he's still with us, that <laughs> That's right. The mistake he made, if uh, it was me, I'd have played a different. The mistake he made when he calmed down. So guys, he, I'm just he, you. He, he lit a cigarette, so they figured, hey? It's not Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is fake, it cannot be. <laughs> So again, they got the chief, the yeah. police, and then by that time we had escorted Moy into Nairobi, flown back to Nanyuki. And now we're all panicking because we have lost, uh, we, can't, we can't find him, he was out of communication. Mm. Um, two or three hours later, we got information that he's okay, he's in Kinagop, he's been picked by the police, he's alive, but... Jesus Christ, that was just, that was just, a, that was just a funny story. <laughs> no, but If I, it were me, I would have gone blessing them. Bless you, my son. <laughs> Bless you, my son. <laughs> Since I don't smoke, I'll not have lit a cigarette. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Uh, but but that I mean, even the I, I, I thought this story even would have gone crazier in terms of because you talked about how one f fighter jet disappeared. Yeah. I thought yeah. maybe he was um, it would have it would have had a worse ending. Yeah. 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 But mm. it, interesting to know that uh, Jesus made it safe. <laughs> 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 That's a side funny story. After that, we stopped it, um, escorting Moy. They it said uh, it's, it's too risky. There's too many. There's no proper briefing. There's no proper planning. There's no communication between military and Kenya Airways. So mm. that was the last we did. Yeah. But every time he came in, we would escort him. Uh, I've done a few of those. Well, that's interesting. And of course, there are many. Jamuri Day fly pass. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. That, that was Kawaida. Kumbi, it's you who's been flying through. Yeah, the, I did. I did uh, several. Let me several. ask you how how many how long does it take from Nyanyuki to Kasarani? About eight minutes. Eight minutes. Mm, could do it in less, but eight to ten minutes. But you could do it in less. What? If you go supersonic. Okay, let's talk about supersonics because you've uh, your son made a very funny tweet. He said, my dad at my at 25 was doing supersonic speeds and <laughs> here I am just trying to do football <laughs> or something of the sort. <laughs> I didn't see it. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll, it's, it's, I've shared it even on, on the video okay, right now. Okay. So how fast can that, what's supersonic?